Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, vlog. I know I haven't posted a lot but I'm just going to be showing you guys my pageant journey and the Miss International Queen Philippines National Capital Region. So uh, for starters we had to do a screening and that was my application form and this is what I wore. Really really inexpensive you guys. I only got this I believe like $10 altogether with the swimsuit so I was really happy how it looked and here I'm just uh, strutting while waiting for my turn and we were actually interviewed um, both in swim and our casual attire so yeah this is me on the way home I rode the train guys for the first time <laughs> so this is me celebrating right after the screening because I knew I did well <laughs> About a week after my screening, I was called and told that I was announced as an official candidate for the Miss International Queen Philippines National Capital Region pageant, Miss 2024. And I was really, really shocked because I really didn't expect it. So this is the first time me and the girls hung out all together and it was a really fun time. It was the director's birthday. So we have Sandra, Ross, Riza, Yuki, and Pal. So after that, we did our first official shoot for our headshots and my makeup artist at the time was GM Ormilio. He was a really really sweet guy, really really nice and thoughtful guy who while we're waiting for our shots to be taken, like pictures, this is Pao, one of my good friends, and my makeup artist actually set up his makeup station. And this is me just being really hungry because I haven't eaten breakfast. So I'm just really, really hungry at the time. So I really wanted my pictures to be taken. That's at the Cassie. And this is Ross asking me if I had any extra eyelash curler, I think. And this is me being what do you call it? <laughs> Having my pictures taken, there you go. And I really love the gown and the swimsuit. I think the swimsuit really gave me that voluptuous look. And the gown, I was actually supposed to wear this during finals, but it was like really, really hard to walk on. Like it was really tight at the bottom because that's how serpentinas are. And these are my other girlfriends, um, Plain, Gen, Sandra, and Ross. And this is one of my very good friends, Yuki, and we're just having fun. <laughs> During the holidays, we didn't actually do as much, but we did shoot our promotional videos for our city's intro and for when we make the top 15. And this is one of the clips that I've had there. And if you're wondering why I'm driving slowly, that's because I want you guys to see my pretty face, right? As we enter 2024, I figured I wanted to spend it as much as I can with family and of course, especially my mom because she's not getting any younger and I love her so much. She's like the best mom in the world. And here are some of my friends there at the province and we're just having fun and let's enter the new year. So fun fact, as I went home to Manila, that's when I was told that I needed a costume, like a legit costume. I cannot wear the costume that I've already prepared because it was too simple. So Yuki told me, you cannot wear that. Uh, one of my good friends, Yuki, Roke. <laughs> so I contacted Kenneth Cruz. So I was just browsing on Facebook about like the best costumes. And Kenneth Cruz was really kind enough to uh, actually tell me, you could uh, go ahead and rent this for tomorrow. I'll have it sent right away. And then I actually love it. I actually love how it looks and the way I've interpreted the costume is the anal leaves because my parents love gardening and how leaves is also um, one of the countries or the Philippines um, national leaf or something like that so that's just how I've interpreted it and I really like it it's really nice looking I think I should have won I'm kidding <laughs> So now we are approaching the finals night. So here I am wearing a Filipiniana for our closed door interview. And we were just so nervous, but we just had fun waiting for our turns. And I really will truly remember this as I felt like it was just such a breeze when I did my interview. So I really think I excel well in interviews. So this is me during rehearsals and I just wanted to say to all the girls who's in my group, I'm so, so sorry because 
I really, really don't dance. Like, I don't know how to dance. I could sing better than dance, to be honest. And I was actually always the cause of delay. But I tried my best. So that's the most important thing. So I'm so sorry, girls. And thank you so much for understanding and for not making me feel like such a bad person. Because I felt like a bad person. It's really hard to dance. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm so sorry, girls. I swear. I tried my best. Mikey, what's going on? I've heard from a little birdie that you have Miss International Queen Philippines pageant coming up. Are you kidding me? We've spoken on Instagram before, and here's the good news is that you're drop dead gorgeous. The hard part of this pageant is done. You've got the beauty. Now, all you gotta do is go out there and strut your stuff. Listen. You're not, uh, you're not joining a Miss International Queen Philippines pageant if you're not drop dead gorgeous. The kicker is, is you gotta go out there, show them your personality, leave the audience and the judges with something that they'll remember. Show them the true Mikey and you can't lose. Again, you're gonna go out there, you're gonna look marvelous, strut your stuff, have a little bit have a little bit of confidence. Don't fear anything. You're already so lucky to be doing this. That's incredible. You should be so proud of yourself just for having the courage to step on the stage and do what you're going to do. So go out there. Show, them, show, us, show us Mikey. I know you're going to make us proud. I'm rooting from you, rooting for you, all the way from, from over here in Chicago. And I'll, as a betting man, I don't actually bet that much. But if I was to bet, I'm putting my money on you. Go out there, crush it, be confident, and show everyone how awesome. So a night before the pageant, we stayed at a hotel and me with my co-candidates. It was just such a memorable experience because I really got to know each and every one. And here are the two eventual winners of the pageant night. So the next night or the next day, we went on to the venue to do our final rehearsals. It was really fun, but it was nerve wracking knowing that we are almost done. We're almost there at the finish line. So here are the gowns. and. Here is the opening number rehearsal and I'm so happy because eventually during the finals everyone was like really good in terms of the practice and rehearsal so we did everything was smooth and perfect at least for me I think.
Just had a little bit commercial break there, but during the finals night, um, our dances were actually really good. I feel like everyone was really doing their best, <laughs> and I'm so happy because I was able to survive it. Because these are not like the easiest dance, at least for me, because I don't dance, nothing's easy for me. So I'm gonna be the last girl to actually go out of the um, stage, or not the stage, but like the opening of the stage. You'll see me there. I'm taking my time because everyone's taking their time. If anything, if I wanted to do something again, or if I were to do it again, I think I just need to be more confident. Just like really have fun with it because I felt like everything was too um, calculated in how I performed. So I think I would have just had fun and, you know, just whatever. <laughs> And I want to thank everyone who has been watching and who reached towards the end of the video. I'm just so happy everything went well during the pageant. I mean, even though I didn't win, I felt like it was such a dream just being there. And to all the winners, congratulations. You guys deserve your crowns. I love you all so much. And to those who didn't win, there's always a next year. So you guys can try again. But for me, I'm done with pageants. So thank you everyone for watching my video. Don't forget oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mikey Dago. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much.